All right, I have a confession. I have to admit, while watching Everest, the first 30 minutes, I was bored. I was really bored. And I remember turning to my friend next to me, and I'm like, you know, are you bored? Because I'm bored. Because we have all these characters, true true characters. This incident really happened. We lost 14 uh, mountaineers on Mount Everest in, uh, I think, someone in 1990, what year was it? 1996? And then also in 2014, we lost 16, 17 people trying to climb Mount Everest. So this is... This was really happening. This was a true story. So the movie really takes its time to set up all these mountaineers. You know, Josh Brolin. Uh, who else do we have here? Um, Jason Clark, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. So all these, all these people are involved with this climb. And like the weather on Mount Everest, in a, right on a dime, boom, things change instantly. And that's what happens in this movie. Uh, that the boredom is gone. The human drama begins. Uh, the excitement, the, uh, I'm telling you, you're on the edge of your seat in this movie, keeping in mind that it's a true story. And I had friends like this. Uh, they're, they do the Ironman competitions. I have a niece who does marathons. And so I have friends growing up and people in my family that are adrenaline seekers, that do these kind of extreme sports that, that are very outdoorsy. And me, I was a nerd. Growing up, look, you know, I watched movies. I played Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, you know, I, I never did anything like that. So I really have a respect for people that want to go out there and challenge Mother Nature like that. So there's a part of me watching this movie going, wow, these guys, I just really admire them. And then another half of me going, are these guys out of their mind? Are they crazy? Uh, because when you think about these guys climbing the mountain, they're just not on these adventure tours paying, what, $65,000 to these mountain uh, leaders to take them up Mount Everest. These guys are experienced climbers. They've done climbs all over the world. They prepared for this because this is like the ultimate challenge is to climb the rooftop of the world, Mount Everest, the highest point in the world oh, in, in Nepal. So as I'm watching this, that these guys perish, you just feel like you're on the mountain with them. You feel like you're helpless during this movie. You just can't help them. You have base camp and calling and just all the emotions are running high and you just think to yourself, wow, I just, this is an incredible story. And these guys didn't go out, you know, you know, looking to die and they're not fools. But this is just one of those circumstances where the weather came roaring in and people were just, they got caught. So it all unfolds, uh, and the director's name, really, oh my gosh, how do I say this? Uh, Balasar Kamatura, uh, amazing direction. Uh, this, I don't know where they shot this. I was doing some research on this. I was trying to see if they shot anything on Everest or if they, where they shot, because, man, these actors and this crew had to endure some elements. And they were out there in the wind, wind machines going and snow blowing, uh, just outstanding performances and direction. So this is a movie that's, on a moment's notice is going to just grab you and hold on to you for two hours and uh, it's an amazing experience it really is uh, and just performances all around Jake Gyllenhaal is fantastic and everything he does and Jason Clark and Emily Blunt and Kara Knightley we have an outstanding cast Josh Brolin one of my all-time favorites uh, so Everest was a real surprise I heard good things about it but I was really worried in the beginning and then this movie just grabs you by the throat and doesn't let go so uh, and that's a good thing all right, for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. And also, if you like what you see, please subscribe, that little V right there, please. Uh, share and comment below. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard. I'll catch you next time.